Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve one very interesting rational equation problem for the real values of x. Here x cannot be negative 1 also. So we will write our equation as x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 4 is common. So it will come out as 4 power 5. In the bracket, we will get x plus 1 whole power 5 over 2x plus 3 whole power 5 plus 3x plus 2 whole power 5 equal to 1. Now 4 power 5, this is 1, 0, 2, 4. And here we have 1. So I can write directly, this will be equal to 1025 times x plus 1 whole power 5 over 2x plus 3 whole power 5 plus 3x plus 2 whole power 5 equal to 1. Now we will divide both sides by 1025. This side also 1025. So 1025 from numerator denominator will be cancelled out in our left hand side. We will get x plus 1 whole power 5 over 2x plus 3 whole power 5 plus 3x plus 2 whole power 5 equal to 1 over 1025. Now x cannot be equal to negative 1. So I can flip or consider reciprocal both sides. Let's flip numerator denominator from both the sides. We will get 2x plus 3 whole power 5 plus 3x plus 2 whole power 5 over x plus 1 whole power 5 equal to 1, 0, 2, 5. x cannot be negative 1. Or we can write equation as 2x plus 3 whole power 5 over x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 3x plus 2 whole power 5 over x plus 1 whole power 5 equal to 1, 0, 2, 5. Or we can write 2x plus 3 over x plus 1 and then whole power 5 plus 3x plus 2 over x plus 1 and then whole power 5 equal to 1, 0, 2, 5. Now we can use substitutions. Let's say first bracket is a second bracket we will call b. So the very first equation which we can write a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 1 0 2 5. Let's say this is our equation 1. Now I will find the value of a plus b. So I will write here a plus b this will be equal to 2x plus 3 over x plus 1. This is the value of a plus 3x plus 2 over x plus 1 value of b. Now denominator is common. It is x plus 1. We will simply add the numerators 2x plus 3 plus 3x plus 2. This will give us 5x plus 5 
and denominator is x plus 1. Let's take 5 common from the numerator over x plus 1. Now we can cancel x plus 1 from numerator and denominator. Our second equation will become a plus b equal to 5. This is equation number 2. Now I will use binomial expansion. Let me write both the equations. a plus b is 5 and a power 5 plus b power 5 is 1, 0, 2, 5. Now I will write a plus b whole power 5. This is equal to a power 5 plus b power 5 plus 5 times ab in the bracket a cube plus b cube which we can write a plus b whole cube minus 3ab times a plus b. Then we will write 10 times a square b square times a plus b. Now we know the value of a plus b. It is 5 and the value of a power 5 plus b power 5. This is 1025. So we can write 5 power 5 equal to 1025 plus 5ab in the bracket 5 cube minus 3 times ab times 5 plus 10 times a square b square times 5 or I can write 5 power 5 equal to 1025. Let's take 5 common from this bracket. So I can write 5 times 5 25 ab in the bracket. 5 square is 25 minus 3 ab. And then we will write 10 times 5 is 50. a square b square. Now 5 power 5 is 3, 1, 2, 5. Now we will take 1, 0, 2, 5 to the LHS. So I can write 3, 1, 2, 5 minus 1025 equal to 25 times AB in the bracket 25 minus 3 AB plus 50 times a square b square. Now 3125 minus 1025. We can write 2100 equal to 25 ab times 25 minus 3 ab plus 50 a square b square. Now equation is divisible by 25. So let's divide by 25 both sides. 84 will be equal to AB times 25 minus 3AB plus 50 over 25 is 2. A square B square. Now we will simplify RHS and we can write 84 equal to 25AB minus a square b square take all the terms to lhs we will get a square b square minus 25 ab plus 84 equal to 0. now this is quadratic in ab so i will use method of factorization i can see the split of 84 or factorization of 84 as 21 times 4. So I will write here a square b square minus 25 ab. We can write minus 21 ab minus 4 ab plus 84 equal to 0. Now from first two terms ab is common. 
so in the bracket we will get ab minus 21 from last two terms we will get negative 4 common so we will write ab minus 21 equal to 0 or we can write ab minus 21 times ab minus 4 equal to 0 so from product 0 rule i can write ab will be equal to 21 or ab will be equal to 4 now our second equation was a plus b equal to 5 from here we will write the value of b as 5 minus a so we will put b equal to 5 minus a in both the equations so we can write equations as a b equal to 21 and a b equal to 4 b is 5 minus a so a times 5 minus a equal to 21 and here i will write a times 5 minus a equal to 4 or 5a minus a square equal to 21 here we can write 5a minus a square equal to 4 take all the terms to rhs a square minus 5a plus 21 equal to 0 this is our first quadratic equation and second one we will write a square minus 5a plus 4 equal to 0. I will calculate the value of discriminant in first equation. So d will be equal to b square minus 4 times ac as per equation b is negative 5, A is 1, C is 21. So I will calculate the discriminant minus 5 is square 25 minus 4 times 1 times 21. So this will become 25 minus 84. Now we can conclude discriminant is negative so we will get complex solutions so we can reject this quadratic equation now i have to solve the second quadratic i can write a square minus a minus 4a plus 4 equal to 0 now from first two terms we can take a common so in the bracket we will write a minus 1 from last two negative 4 is common will get a minus 1 equal to 0 so from here i can write a minus 1 times a minus 4 equal to 0 or we can write a equal to 1 and 4 using product 0 rule now a is 1 and 4 a was our substitution 2x plus 3 over x plus 1 so i can write here 2x plus 3 over x plus 1 equal to 1 and 2x plus 3 over x plus 1 equal to 4. Now we will cross multiply 2x plus 3 equal to x plus 1. Take x to the LHS and 3 to the RHS. We will get 2x minus x equal to 1 minus 3. So x will become negative 2, our first accepted real solution. Here we will be getting 2x plus 3 equal to 4 times x plus 1. 2x plus 3 will be equal to 4x plus 4. Now I will take 2x to the RHS and 4 to the LHS. So 3 minus 4 will be equal to 4x minus 2x. So I can write negative 1 will be equal to 2x. Once we will divide both sides by 2, 
we will get our second real solution x equal to negative half. So finally we have two real values which are going to satisfy our equation minus 1 over 2 and minus 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care.